In downtown Austin is a famous Austin Church Gap. First jumped by Jim with the van in 1998's groundbreaking Road Fools 1 video. It's right on the edge of what is possible on a BMX bike. The gap is big, the stairs waiting for anyone who come up short are brutal, and the run up is too short. Attempting it requires chain breaking acceleration and complete commitment to keeping full power on the pedals till the last possible moment. Paul Buchanan arrived in Austin a year after the church cap had been proved possible, but it hadn't been made any easier. No one else had dared attempt it since Jimmy. This challenge still loomed large over the city, and it didn't take Paul very long to find his way there. Paul Buchanan left behind a lot of legends. He wasn't motivated by landing photos in magazines or getting clips in videos. His accomplishments were for himself, and few, if any, witnessed some of his biggest moments. Unsurprisingly, there are not photos or video of what happened when Paul met the church gap, and only one person alive can tell the story. Paul's good friend, Sandy Carson. Paul came to Austin um, from Canada around 99 when I did from Bethlehem. But yeah, we just hit it off as, you know, just like long lost bros. He was, you know, his parents were Scottish and now he's like, all right, you know, and you know, he just gets the Scottish sense of humour, so we just really hit it off like right away, cracking jokes and immediately just start riding street together. And I'd talk to his mum sometimes on the phone and she'd just be, I'm so glad there's another Scottish guy that he can hang out with. Like, like she just considered him Scottish, you know what I mean? <laughs> so Paul, Paul Buchanan and I went for a bike ride. We got to Six in Congress and we took a photo with Leslie. I always had my camera on me, especially when I was riding with Paul because he didn't know what the hell he was going to do and I was like, I want to capture this. I want to capture Paul doing whatever he's doing because it's always something mental and really off the cuff. And then we were just cruising about, just just usual. And I know Paul had been talking about, oh, uh, maybe like to try the church cap or check it out sometime, but I didn't know, I think he was serious because I remember being there in Road Fools and seeing Jimmy jump in. It was really scary, like everyone was just kind of shaking. We had no doubt Jimmy was going to do it because he was like, Coming off a of road throws, he was so on his game, we're just like, this guy's on fire and he's gonna do anything, you know? So we're just pedaling down this alleyway and then we take a right turn and there it is. We're at the stairs of the church gap. Paul starts walking his bike up the stairs and there's this guy there, he's like, how you doing, man? Nice day, blah, 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 you know, just shooting the shit. And I just see Paul walking up. I'm just like, oh, whatever, he's just looking at it. And then he, he just disappears for a second. And um, this guy's talking to me, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, I put my bag down and sort of just chilling with the guy for a minute. And then I see Paul's front wheel just poking over the top of the church cap. And I look at Paul's face and he just says, oh, he's just like, I'm going to go for it in his eyes. And I'm like, oh, f better get my camera bag. Grab it. And it was such a ratty camera bag. And it, the, the zip kept getting stuck and the guy's chatting away in my ear. And it's, he's really doing my head in. I just want to tell me, shut up. And, and just wrestling and wrestling. And I can see all the teeth, like, jumping and breaking and I'm like, I gotta get the camera, I gotta get it out. Paul's gonna jump the camera, oh my God. Finally, unzip the bag and open it and all the, oh, the lenses are flying everywhere and I'll like grab the fish eye and as soon as I try to put it on the camera, zzz, and Paul just jumps straight over the top of us. <laughs> it was gone with such momentum and the bike, you know, it was a tank. It's just this heavy ass bike, cleared the gap, pulled it, but it was just like getting really squirrely. There's a big sidewalk there and he was just like doing these speed wobbles all the way and he got to the end of it and then he just flipped over the bars. And I was like, f hell, Paul, f I was like cheering and at the same time I was just like, I never got a photo of it and this guy wouldn't shut up, f f And I ran down there and gave him a big hug, you know. Paul, Paul was on his own level, you know what I mean? He, he just was, you know, one of the greatest riders ever. It's good that it's, a, it's a, you know, probably one of the gnarliest things in BMX and no one has a photo of it. That's, and I actually saw it, so that's, 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 that's good. Mm -hmm.